Welcome back to the channel. I'm James. Today we're looking at Coinbase Global Inc. ticker symbol coin. They have just released their earnings and we're going to be going through these latest Q4 numbers and then we are going to be looking at my discounted free cash flow models and the Buffer Graham intrinsic value model to see if this stock is a buy in 2022 based off these numbers. So I was almost had some good news for Coinbase because you can see it is actually down after earnings down 2% to $176.32. But if you do look at Google, they briefly hit 190 and then have dropped right back down. So I'm not too sure what's happened there. Uh, earnings look okay spoiler alert but um yeah the market has reacted pretty weirdly there it was up massively up to 190 which is the most it's been in quite a few months and then it's dropped right back down so let's have a look at these earnings but actually first what i want to do is on coinbase because it is quite interesting on their uh, shareholders letter is we'd like to see how things are so this is 2021 and um, the outlook on the annual retail uh, retail users up to 8.4 million transactions is 64 dollars that's beat it transaction expenses are up um administration expenses are up as well sales and marketing is actually down so that's good to see monthly transaction users you can see on the quarters 2.8 uh, million 6.1 8.8 7.4 11.4 on the full year if we compare 2020 to 2021 2.8 million compared to 11.4 let's just scroll down again this is the crypto market cap very useful for coinbase because obviously they're in the crypto industry and if crypto goes well they'll go well and this just shows how much crypto has been growing now can it sustain that that's the question 123 billion and it's gone up almost 20 times to 2321 billion and if we scroll down you can see that all their sales are up and unique monthly wallets is up nft sales as well which is a good thing for them but let's just go straight to the numbers here because i do find this stuff very interesting but let's go actually one last thing the trading volume i'm forgetting about the key metrics here institutional and retail you can see that it is up massively from 2020 on the year 73 billion to 535 institutional is up almost 10 times 120 billion to well, 1,000 and 100, well, 1.3 trillion up massively. Bitcoin percentages wise here, uh, Bitcoin's actually down, but you can see other crypto assets and Ethereum up massively. And based on the transactional revenue, Bitcoin down again, but Ethereum and other crypto assets are up massively. So let's just get into the numbers here because this is why you guys are on the video. Let's uh, scroll down to the financial statements. They have a very good pack, but let's get into it. Revenue, here we are. Let's zoom in a little bit. Revenue, we have the three months ended in December 2020, 2021 compared to the three, uh, the year ended for 2021. 20 so for the three months ended, 497 million, uh, sorry, yes, 497 million compared to 2.5 billion in 2021. So that is up massively. And even then, this number is more shocking. 2021, they had 1.1 billion in revenue yeah, the latest quarter beat that by double, obviously 2.4, and the net revenue for the year, 7.3 billion. So that is absolutely crazy. This is a seven times increase, 6 billion on their revenue. Uh, this is the kind of revenue growth that you uh, would like to see as an investor, but it's not just that because one of the reasons why I like Coinbase as a stock, if we go to the bottom line here, the net income, what's happening with net income? Um, if we look at the quarter, 176 million to 840 million, but... 322 million profit this has gone up to 3.6 billion they have managed to uh 7x their revenue and then 10x their profit as well which is absolutely crazy uh based on net income half of their revenue is profit and uh, we look at all these expenses expenses are up massively but they are generating a lot more revenue and a lot more profit that is crazy to see in a company like this normally these companies are not profitable it's more speculation on the stock this company is a revenue monster now and a, a profit monster as well i don't know why i'm using the monster expression but i'm going to go with it anyway uh, another interesting thing about coinbase it only has a 36 
38 billion dollar market cap so their earnings per share and revenue are very very high price to sales very very high indeed so next we want to look at the free cash flow which is cash from operations minus capital expenditures where is the net cash operating activities here 3 billion in 2020 to 10.7 billion in 2021 and the capex here purchase of property and equipment is actually down massively uh, from 9.9 to 2.9 so basically we have 10 billion more than that in free cash flow for this company this is absolutely crazy for this kind of stock so let's get into our buffer graham intrinsic value models firstly we've calculated the future free cash flows they were negative free cash flow in 18 19 3 billion in 2020 and 10 billion in 2021 now look at these estimates we have we have 3.5 billion 3.8 5 billion 6.4 so based on these estimates alone, this gives a calculated stock price of Coinbase at $282 a share, which if we go back to, uh, we'll look at Google Finance because I do like it, $280 a share. I mean, it, if we go to its all times, this is basically since it's since April, it would put it at the highest it's been in a while. Obviously, we had these me uh, big peaks when it went to 320 and 340, but that would make it what a double the double the stop an 80 billion dollar company which is very reasonable but this is with free cash flow down let's just say coinbase goes on a similar run not necessarily um beating their free cash flow estimates in uh sorry their current free cash flow to get a 10 billion in fact if you're looking at me changing these numbers it has to be a lot of changes that's not that's probably a bit too much let's go 35 percent here let's just say they get to um and we'll lower the revenue rate because that is quite a lot of revenue growth um, and we'll also lower the free cash flow rate to about that. Okay, this is still 8 billion, 9 billion, 11 billion, 15 billion. That puts them at a $600 stock, which means what, a 3X company? I mean, Coinbase is an absolutely crazy price. It's very profitable. It's got great revenues, great cash flows. Um, problem is it's linked to Bitcoin massively, which is could be a good problem or a bad problem. I'll go through that in a bit. But if we look, Buffer Graham Intrinsic Value has this stock at a crazy, crazy discount. Earnings per share and expected growth rate, $20, uh, uh, $20 EPS, 66% uh, analysts expect this over the next five years. Say that's a bit um, over on the high side. Let's say they can grow 20%. That's still a $1,000 stock, which means it can go up by five times. And this is still what? Get to a 120, 140 billion company? Very possible. Very possible indeed. So these share prices look a bit crazy, but... I think this is a heck of a stock and both the models agree. Before we get into some technical analysis, let's just always do this because I do find it interesting with Coinbase and let's just compare it to uh, Bitcoin. Uh, and these are the charts against each other and it is always a very, very closely knit relationship here. If we zoom out from the entire Coinbase has gone down. Coinbase has moved with Bitcoin at an absolute crazy level. So really, if you think Bitcoin is going up, Coinbase is a no brainer buy, but now, I'm not going to get into arguments about crypto because it's it's not my scene. Um, but people say that because... You, uh, I'm going to have to cut this out. Fuck. So one of the good things about having a Coinbase as your stock rather than going with Bitcoin is because it has that underlying uh, revenue and cash flows and profit. Obviously, people like Bitcoin for a myriad of reasons, but for investors who are not into Bitcoin, Coinbase is a good way to get involved, but you have a very solid company underneath. Now let's quickly have a look at some of the technicals here. Uh, very interesting regardless. Let's get our moving averages up. Now obviously we don't have massive data on this stock because it is very new in its life. Obviously only IPO'd earlier last year. I was gonna say this year, but time flies. So let's get the 50 day moving average up. In fact, look at the 50 day moving average. Now that is very small indeed and let's get the 100 day I won't bother with the 200 day because i don't think it's going to provide too much value but what is happening right now well we've got some very bearish signs prices below the 50 day and the 100 200 100 day moving average let's just add it in anyway because i'm tripping over myself because i'm so used to adding it in uh, let's get a 200 day in red and i think it's going to be a very small line <laughs> yes it is look at that right so what are we seeing well the 50 day is under the 100 day and 200 day which is bearish and the price is also below now the market is acting acting a bit more favorably towards the stock you can see it's actually up in the post market which is good to see because i think these earnings are pretty impressive i mean if i was an owner of this stock um, and i saw those earnings and it wasn't coinbase it was something else i'd be very happy but these are quite bearish signals technicals are a pretty strong sell uh, from what i'm seeing here and obviously uh Trading view does recommend it down massively on the year 44%. But let's have a look at the MACD, which is the moving average convergence divergence. Let's get the MACD up there. What is this showing us? 
Once again, pretty bearish. It did have a good upswing here, but the MACD ad single line have crossed and now the stock is in negative territory and these lines are below the signal line, sorry, below the zero line, which is bearish as well. And finally, let's look at the RSI. We're probably going to have too much here because I like to look at the weeklies. Um, trending to towards oversold regions. Uh, Coinbase has been pretty all over the place since it first IPO'd. Um, usually trending actually on the higher side, but more recently it's been on the lower side. If we go to the weeklies as well, I imagine it's going to be, yeah, we don't have much data here at all, but we are very, very low here in the uh, 32, 38 uh, um, on the RSI, which is very low. So overall, I like the stock. I think it's fundamentally very solid. Does follow Bitcoin a bit too close for my liking. And I think the investors want a bit more because they go see down 3% now. I was happy with those earnings. I'd be... If, if I was a Coinbase shareholder and I saw those earnings, I'd be expecting the stock to go up. But it's very, very interesting. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Please give a like on the video if you enjoyed it. And I'll catch you guys next time.